this uh, blue flowered weed that's growing all over the place up here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm is chicory. So that's what we're going to be talking about on today's video on wild edibles. So stay tuned. Chicory is a deep rooted plant. It has sheds forth a root straight down into the earth to tap into what moisture it can get. It's a pretty uh, uh, drought resistant plant. It has these little flowers that open up in the morning and stay out until the sun comes up and then they close right up just like that one. A little on the history of this plant, it has its origins in uh, history as far back as the ancient Egyptians. In more recent history, it was known to be used by, during the Civil War as a coffee substitute. The root itself was uh, har harvested, roasted or baked, and then ground up and used uh, as a coffee substitute. In uh, the south of the United States, they used the chicory root as a co uh, an additive to coffee as well to give it that extra flavor. The leaf of the plant can be used like, it belongs to the same family as the dandelion, so the leaf of the plant can be uh, cooked and used like a spinach and also used raw, the young leaf, used raw in salads. According to the folks on WebMD, Chicory can be used as a tonic to increase urine, urine production and to protect the liver. Some people use the chicory leaf as a poultice to apply to uh, the skin for control of inflammation. The Food and Drug Administration has a code of federal regulations under Title 21. In this, you'll see where uh, chicory actually appears as being safe for consumption. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has also noted on their website that chicory products are uh, also safe and then there are certain uh, beneficial properties in chicory that they recognize that can benefit the human health, such as providing all of the nutrients that are required or most of the nutrients that are required for your daily caloric intake. It also contains folate, pantothenic acid, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, copper, and manganese. Chicory contains vitamins A, C, E, vitamins K and B6. Always check with your doctor before using any vitamin supplements. Uh, they may contradict any medications that you're already on. It could create a toxic effect as some medications do. Speaking of toxins, you can, uh, by letting your animals forage on this, you could uh, deworm them and get rid of parasites in your animal's guts. It's also said that it has a probiotic or prebiotic in it, so they've been recently discovering that the prebiotic properties in it, they're able to add to like homemade yogurts and stuff like that. Most flowers of the variety of uh, chicory are bright blue. You will rarely find a white or a pink flower. So this is the flower. And this is the leaf of the chicory. And then this is the root of the chicory. So chicory has chicory has been cultivated. It grows wild in Europe and it was introduced to Asia and uh, the uh, US. But it's now growing wild around the US like I have it here. Um, some in New Zealand, there's companies actually researching and promoting chicory for uh, growing in pastures. It's very uh, uh, potent with protein. Uh, to, as a replacement for oats for your livestock for grazing. 
Uh, so this is a great uh, plant to cultivate for grazing in your fields uh, if you're going to do polycrop uh, gr uh, field management. And also uh, in Europe they actually grow the plant in gardens and harvest them for the leaves for salads and spinach type products. And in other uh, areas they'll grow it for the root uh, for producing uh, a, a, a coffee substitute or a coffee additive depending on where you live or what you're using it for. This is also known as camp coffee and has been sold since the 1800s in England uh, as camp coffee. Uh, the Civil War soldiers used it exclusively uh, as a coffee drink uh, for lack of coffee and so Germany as well used this uh, as a coffee drink. For growing chicory you could grow it from seed as these little flowers do produce a seed and cultivate the seeds early in the spring after the last frost. Uh, for cultivating the root you can just take the root of the stalk put it in the refrigerator uh, and then after some time in the refrigerator you can plant it in the, gr in the uh, ground in fall and then you'll be harvesting the leaf. Uh, that's how they cultivate it for leaf production for salads in the garden. A little disclaimer here. I am not an herbologist. I am not a medical doctor. I am a guy just like you guys who uh, does my best to research what is uh, native and beneficial to myself. This is just my way of being able to bring to light what grows naturally in your own environment, like in my own backyard. So in the event of the zombie apocalypse, uh, we can able, be able to go out and forage for native plants and know, uh, still get the nutrients and balance of nutrition that our bodies need to stay healthy where we are not dependent upon pharmaceuticals delivering their goods to the local pharmacy which by the way could be raided and burnt down in the event of these zombies going berserk and destroying everything in their path or a major catastrophe that could block all roads from getting uh, goods and services to your area, your location. So this is just one of those uh, videos that helps educate you and hope to motivate you to seek out what grows native in your backyard and be able to cultivate what you grow naturally or what grows naturally around your environment that the, you can use. Now keep in mind the native uh, peoples, the indigenous peoples of this continent lived for thousands of years, thousands of years without the intervention of food crops being imported from Mexico or pharmaceuticals being concocted in laboratories they were able to survive and thrive on native plants. They were a much smarter people than we give them credit for. And now we're just now learning just how wise they were in being able to uh, learn what grows. And this crosses cultures around the globe. We're talking about the ancient Asians, the ancient Egyptians, the Grecians. We're going back in their journals and finding out what they used for medicines and foods which benefited them and what they knew helped. So take care of yourself, take care of your health, and good luck. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Wild Edibles, looking at chicory. I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for coming. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.